day two. We're going to eat lunch. That's about all I can do with this. But at least I got to eat lunch today. Yesterday I didn't get to eat lunch. It was a bummer. But I'm going with dad, mother, and we're meeting my grandpa. I haven't seen him in a while, so I don't even know if he knows that I'm broken or not, but he's always really pleased about my dirt biking crashes and, and the things that I do on that thing. So he ought to be very excited about this one. I don't really know if he's if he's aware yet, but we're about to see. So I will report in with the initial reaction. Actually, I'll just have the camera out and I'll just let you see it. He'll be very, very enthused. Coming in on your side. All right, we're about to see how Grandpa likes his collarbone action. <laughs> hey. Hey, what are you up to? What? Nothing. What? Arm wrestling or what? Arm wrestling. All right. Arm wrestling got the best of me. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I wanted to see what you thought of it. What do you think of this? Well, it looks neat. It looks good, huh? Yeah, okay, yeah. I feel good. I feel yeah. good in it. Yeah, we'll pick it up above your head in about another six months. No, it'll be good. Yeah. I can already pick it up over my head. <laughs> it's fine. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to drive for my first time. Wish me luck on that. Um, haven't been using my sling very much, but I don't really feel like I need it. So I think I'm, uh, I'm going to stay away from that. Um, actually going to see my physical therapist right now because, uh, she's helping me get out of many jams and she always gives me the advice that I can trust more than anybody. So I'm going to see Julie. She's awesome. Um, but I'm about to drive for the first time. So wish me luck and, uh, hopefully I'll see you when I get there and you'll get to meet Julie. She's making my chest reds. All she's doing. She's got, <laughs> that's the effect I have on. <laughs> people <laughs> <laughs> she only made me cry twice it's rough looking it's not looking good it, but it looks fabulous it looks like uh the back looks like a bunch of snot coming off which is cool julie how long have you been helping me through my injuries i don't know brett you tell me i lose track of time it's been a while <laughs> Julie's my go-to. If I can't go to physical therapy with her, I don't go with anybody. <laughs> my last knee, I had to be in Oregon, and I wasn't gonna get, wasn't gonna do it because I wasn't gonna be able to be with her. So I, I said no, nope, no physical therapy. I'll just call Julie. I think it's been like 10, 12 years, something like that. 11 years. Probably so. Yep. I'll show you guys here in a minute how long it's been. Here's a throwback Thursday for you. No fear gear. 2006 I believe check out that style for days nah to my physical therapy family thank you for all your help I don't know what I don't know that anyone else can stand me as well as you guys have I'm sure I'll be back sooner or later so watch out I mean no doubt I've been back here many times but hey that gear was sick though that stuff was rad no fear just watching the Thunder game they're playing the magic I look pretty tough in this shirt, huh? Like I look, I think it might be that. I'm not really sure. Maybe I need to stop skipping um, upper body, chest, arm day at the gym, or maybe stop skipping the gym at all. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, I was watching the Thunder game and they're playing the Magic, and I'm not really sure about this dude's haircut. Let's be honest, right now, right there. What is that? Come on, man, doesn't that get in your way? Can't you just blame that on the fact that you missed three free free throws and seven three-pointers in a row that you couldn't see? Man, that's rough. Another little bummer you don't think about whenever you have surgery, you got pretty bad. You can't even take a shower. I gotta get this stupid bandage off my arm face that. Got some jerseys getting ready for Chase. Go out for Seattle, Salt Lake. Oh yeah, looking good. He's not number 66 though, he's actually number 99, believe it or not. Since I'm broken and I can't ride right now, most of my days are spent in the ride365.com warehouse, picking stuff off the shelves and sending it to you. Right now, picking up some 100% goggles. We're gonna send these out to a happy customer. 
perfect. All packaged up, ready to go. I just got my stuff done at the warehouse. Now I'm headed to St. Louis. So if you're coming to St. Louis, come by the ride365.com, Stuart Racing Semi, come see me. It's gonna be an awesome day. See you guys.